Okay, so uh, I've been asked a question on how to motivate yourself with a routine and also what if you've been in a great routine and then maybe gone on holiday or something and come back and it's difficult to get back into, into the routine. And my own thing with that, well there's a few different, a few different angles I, I would have on that. One is that um, it's really, really important to be in a good spirit. The spiritual routine is the most important routine for me in the day because that orchestrates everything. You know, when you're aligned spiritually, everything will flow out of that. So I have a routine, you know, my own routine is I, I, I get on my knees, I pray, I do some 12 step prayers, I do some Course in Miracle prayers, uh, lessons, uh, then uh, I read my Course lesson, Course in Miracles lesson for the day, and then I do five minutes meditation. So that, like, that's every morning to get set up and you get that spiritual connection which then orchestrates the day. If you, um, so one of the tricks is like to have something as a priority in the morning for spirituality and you know I come from a food addiction background, I go to 12 step programs, food addiction and it's like and I often meet people and you know various people you have certain things which are their priority, like when I was in food addiction like eating would be like my priority. It's like I wake up in the morning and the first thing that goes in my head is I want to eat. So and then I help people who have eating disorders. And I always say to them like the first thing in the morning you can't eat. You have to pray because otherwise that means the most important thing in your life is to eat and then you pray. So it's like no you must prioritize your spiritual connection because some people are workaholics so the first thing they go up, they're checking their emails and they're typing in things to office or others might be food addicts, others might be. But then symbolically, when you put that stuff first in the morning, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's giving, it's really showing what your God is in the morning, you see. So I always say, like, if you grab a donut, that probably means your God is really donuts and God is sec your second God. I'll eat my donut and then I'll pray, you see. Or... I'll check, I'll do a little bit of work and then I'll, I'll do that or, you know, or, or whatever it is, well, it depends what your focus is. So that's one of the things and I, you know, sometimes I'll think my ego may say, oh, why don't you do it? No, because that would mean that I'm putting that before. So I always do that, you know, and some days, I think it's a, it's a thing of spiritual discipline as well, even when life gets tough and there's a lot of chaos going on and your head goes like you haven't got time to still do it because that's how you develop that spiritual momentum. Now if you've been, um, been away, like on holiday or something, and you get out of a spiritual routine, then there is a great prayer that we get from 12 steps, like praying for willingness, to put it first. It's, it sounds very, very simple. I've done it sometimes, you know. It's like, it sounds so ridiculously simple that you can't, you know, the ego doesn't believe that it would work. And I prayed for willingness to do things, like I, you know, as long as they're in alignment, like, I, you know, I'm not going to pray for willingness to rob a bank because that would be out of alignment with spiritual integrity. But, you know, if you're in alignment with the higher, higher good of the universe, I pray for willingness to put my spiritual routine first, take care of me. Then that does work if you can't. We're praying for the willingness to be willing. Uh, otherwise, the thing that I would, I would, I would reiterate is... Um, Uh, life, you know, how your day is, how, what you perceive and what miracles occur is in direct relationship to your spiritual connection, you see. So if you, if you let go of a bit of the, if you let go, just quickly get that, I'll get that one. Hello? Oh, come on up, come on up. So basically, if you get that spiritual connection, then oops. Hello? Oh, you can see me running around this in this video. <laughs> if um, so, if you get that spiritual connection, like you know, and you get that serenity and peace, then how the world looks to you, all the miracles and the synchronicities 
will be in alignment. And if you get off to a grumpy start, then you know the whole day can be out of sync. So 